Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. And today I'm going to go through my review of the TNA Solid P headphones and the uh, matching HA200 headphone amp. Now, the headphones retail for £5,000 and the amp is 6600 now I know for a lot of you that might be way outside your price bracket but do stay along and understand what makes this such a special headphone system for listening to your music. First up let's go through the unboxing, show you what's in the box and while um, I'm doing that I'm going to run through some of the uh, specifications and talk more about the headphones. First let's unbox the headphones themselves. Uh, they are a planar magnetostatic uh, sort of headphone. They have an impedance of 80 ohms, frequent response between 5 hertz and 54 kilohertz. They have a sound pressure level of 130 dB at the maximum, 101 dB sensitivity. They are completely uh, over the ears, open back, so uh, you hear what comes in and people can hear what you're listening to and they have a variety of different cables and they weigh 530 grams. So now we've taken a look uh, at what's how the packaging side of things, let's actually look uh, more and talk about more what makes these headphones special. So the TNA uh, team is a company from Germany uh, it's a mix of young engineers and very experienced physicists who absolutely love their music. So the TNA, I would view the TNA um, Solitaire P headphones as the Rolls Royce of headphones, both from design, practicality, technical innovation point of view. Concept, very sophisticated, planar magnetostatic design philosophy, ultra lightweight diaphragm and planar drive. Everything about these headphones is top class. If you have a look, you've got, you can fully adjust them. They're beautifully made. Let's look at the headphones here. Even uh, how the, the, the removal cables slide in. These are the XLR cables I've got connected. And you can see through here, really lovely soft pads as well. In terms of fit, very comfortable. You can wear these for I mean, I've had these on for hours and hours and hours. Uh, I think the longest I went for was over 10 hours and absolutely no uh, problem with comfort or anything like that. These are really top class, hand um, made um, completely. Ear pads, head pads, all handmade. And TNA have a specialist company in Germany uh, that helped make them make some of the parts. They are allergen-free synthetic leather and Alcantara, and I said design spears to, to, you know, to wear as long as you want to wear them. Some of the materials used range from uh, carbon, very high strength plastics, um, with an incredible fit and finish. The actual diaphragm that drives these is applied by vapor deposition, and you have 19 high performance neodymium magnets that drive the diaphragm through precisely calculated magnetic field lines. The precise design of the retaining rings and the magnetic mount maintain the diaphragm's position accurately in the linear part of the diaphragm's magnetic field. And all that means, in a nutshell, it ensures you get high sound pressure without distortion. And that helps generate and make these headphones deliver an enormous dynamic sound range incredible precision and means that also when you hear uh, the music at your ears it's virtually devoid of inertia. So now we're going to take a quick look at the unboxing of the amp and then after that I'm going to talk about sound quality talking about specific tracks and what do these sound like. So now we're going to unbox the actual headphone uh, amp itself and that's uh, this is the HA200. And while I'm unboxing, I'm gonna talk through and describe some of what makes this uh, a very beautiful piece of equipment. I say, um, handmade, beautiful precision, it's a mastercraft, really lovely piece of kit. 
So the first thing as we're going through is that each of the headphone outputs can be fine-tuned um, each for uh, your different headphones. Uh, that's up to three. There are three headphone outputs and they can all be fine-tuned for each specific headphone. Um, the um, amp outputs in class A with a high idle current. Power is available uh, for the most demanding headphones. Um, none of the headphones I had had any issue. I did actually try a few other headphones um, and they worked really well. Um, it's a high quality mains. So you've got one section uh, for digital, one for analog with separate toroidal transformers that provide all the stamina. The amp also features optimized and separate decoder architecture for DSD and PSM that ensures all your digital formats are decoded to the highest standards. It's very versatile, as you'll see from the back, the different connections that you have. All the digital of the DSP um, of the PCM data is carried out by a double differential quadruple converter, and that has a conversion rate up to 768 kilohertz. The TNA True 1-bit DSD converter uh, converts the DSD data. It then processes it in a native bit stream form. That means that your um, DSD data is up to DSD 1024, and they arrive from the USB input of the digital connecting board and therefore can be produced to the really highest uh, quality. Now, I'll put some uh, specs. I tell you no, I won't because there's a lot of specs. I'll put some of the specification in the uh, description box down below. So should you have uh, any further questions, then obviously ask uh, in the comments as well. So now let's talk about sound quality of these headphones and just a bit more about the headphones in general and what makes these so special. But just before I get to that, it also comes with this really beautiful remote. Lovely, works really well and enables you to operate everything without having to get off your chair. So let's now talk about the sound quality. Sound quality. So I said, these are the headphones, beautifully engineered. Um, let's talk about sound quality and we're gonna go through some of the tracks. Now, um, I spent hours and hours and hours listening to every genre of music I could find. And these aren't genre, uh, specific or they don't prefer a specific genre these are the rolls royce of listening to your music it, it they with the amp and the headphone combination it they just sounded magnificent so you could take and the bottom end your streaming music from spotify or apple music then going up say to stream that title and then you could just have your own um uh, music you've got flax and stuff like that and dsds that you've stored locally and listen to these or you could put network streamer into this as well uh, there is the option of using bluetooth on the amp so a lot of versatility um, very modern but also delivers in many other ways so sound quality is what counts so let's just go for it so first up um, i listened to a song by the fairfield four uh, they're sort of a uh, gospel type singer, uh, Lonesome Valley. Uh, the vocals on the track, Science so Behold, if you do buy this amp and headphone combo, go and listen to that track, come back, leave a comment and tell me I wasn't wrong about this. Um, the tone of the singers is phenomenal. Separation, you can hear all the four singers, you know, there's this, they're in the room next to you singing, absolutely terrific. And my hairs were lifting on the arms. Uh, the, the tone, the treble, the mids, everything on this, beautiful soundstage. Leonard, Co uh, Leonard Cohen, uh, In My Secret Life. Uh, again, uh, you hear the background singers initially. They're really clear, concise. It's just a masterclass of vocal reproduction because as Leonard Cohen comes in himself, his deep tones are just wonderfully reproduced. This isn't about, um, does, do these, are these missing bass known? Not at all. Um, you can listen to every genre as I'll explain. So I did pick um, as many genres as I could find and go through. So Massive Attack, Unfinished Symphony, uh, beautiful, uh, all the instruments that are in that song, and the deep bass lines. You can really feel those deep bass lines. These don't um, skimp out on providing bass, but they don't add bass, but they still provide tons of it because it's this, they can explode and 
as the music gets louder suddenly these just just up and down no problem at all with the all the curves and different uh, levels of music the sound pressure is fantastic the female uh, vocalist in there again clear as day excellent separation i think you're going to get the picture on these there's nothing these don't do wrong ophelia um, by natalie merchant uh, the nuances of her voice are mesmerising. I mean, truly mesmerising. Sound stage is excellent. Again, very, very detailed. And all these, you're finding parts of, of, if you pick a song you're very used to, you'll find stuff you didn't actually hear existed on that track. Uh, CeeLo Green, uh, CeeLo Green, I should say. Brighter lights, bigger city. Uh, very dynamic, it's punchy. It's a, sort of a, a modern track. Uh, the bass is deep, but it's effortless as well. Uh, CeeLo Green's voice is fantastic, very authentic sounding, uh, loads of details and again there was stuff on the track that I hadn't heard before. Let's go to classical, something uh, from Rivaldi um, for the new Four Seasons by Nigel Kennedy. Um, no background noise, the background is dark, no floor noise, the violin is incredible. You can hear the strings being plucked beautifully. Uh, the track starts very calm and it builds up and the tempo and takes off. These just follow it. Just no hassle at all, just dances around it musically with sheer brilliance. Um, mids, treble, bass, it's all there and everything is just off the charts. Incredible. Seriously, just so, so good. Um, I don't want to sound like a walk record on this, but it really doesn't matter. The same was with, um, I was looking at Hans Zimmer, Mountains, uh, the soundtrack. The mood of the track is rendered so realistically. You really feel it in your the emotions. Um, some really love their music at TNA and you're just on edge as the music builds up and the soundtrack builds up and everything scales up instantly as the track reaches its climax again tons of detail excellent separation and then we go to something like uh, rock let's take ACDC Highway to Hell um, again just the drums and the timing and the vocals just knocks out the park Philip Glass, uh, another bit of cl uh, classical I've put in the last minute because I really like it. Uh, Symphony Number no. 8, Movement 1. It's a very fast tempo uh, piece of classical. Um, the speed is excellent, a fantastic wide sound stage, superb positioning of all the instruments. And again, I really recommend having a listen to that. Huge swathes of detail naturally. And two classics. Uh, Layla, this is a the live performance where Eric Clapton performs with Winston Marsalis. Fantastic album, if you haven't heard um, these two together. I can't remember the name of the album, but it's really good. I might leave, I'll leave a comment um, in the description below if you're interested. And it's a, a live, uh, a live, and these two are playing, Eric on his uh, guitar and singing, um, just all the instruments, the atmosphere, perfect. Uh, I just love it. So in, in summary, these, with the amp, Rolls Royce, Endgame, um, as I said before, perfect, Rolls Royce, Endgame, if you can afford it, buy it, come back, tell me if you have, you'll love it. Anyway, Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets, catch you guys soon, bye for now.